Let's talk about keyword research tools. Do we actually need them? Find out in this video. Hello Home Bosses, my name is Nouria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel, which is all about helping you to make money online. And if you have been on this channel before, you know that I mainly talk about creating low content books and publishing them on Amazon KDP. And uh, in my last videos, I've been talking a lot about keyword research. And the question is, do we need to use any special tools to do this keyword research? And the answer to that is no, you don't need any special tools to be successful in this business. You can very easily use the method that I explained in my last video. I'll leave a link to it up there. And that was a way of manually researching your keywords and that works perfectly fine. However, you can save a lot of time by using the right tools and that is where keyword research tools really help. When I first started on KDP, I did everything manually. I really didn't have the budget to, to buy these tools and I started buying the tools as I started earning from Amazon. And now I'm really glad that I did because they did save me a lot of time. So I want to make a few videos to talk you through each of those tools that I use. So the tool I want to talk to you about today is Publisher Rocket. And Publisher Rocket was made by Dave Chesum from Kindlepreneur. And I'm sure you have heard about the free Amazon course that he has, which is absolutely fantastic. It's a really detailed course and it's free. And I always advise everybody who wants to learn about Amazon ads to take that course because it's just so complete and it's free. <laughs> so what Dave Chesson doesn't know about publishing is really not worth knowing. He's very, very knowledgeable. And I find that everything he does is just really helpful in the publishing business. Publishing Rocket was one of the first tools I used and it was really, really helpful to me, saving me a lot of time. And I also discovered some of the niches that I wouldn't have discovered doing the manual research because it just brings up the information so quickly. And the reason I wanted to talk to you about Publisher Rocket in this video is because there's a really good special offer on at the moment. It's only going to be for this week. But Dave Chesson reached out to me and he said, would you like to offer my keyword research course as a, a bonus for anybody that purchases Publisher Rocket? So I thought, wow, that sounds great. I took the course myself. I did the keyword research course. And what that course offers you is a big advantage when it comes to marketing your book. Choosing smarter keywords and categories is a powerful way to get in front of more readers on Amazon. And inside the course, he teaches you how to improve your book's discoverability on Amazon, how to understand how Amazon uses keywords to show your book, finding profitable keywords and use them effectively, select best-selling categories with a proven process, and unlocking hidden categories that most authors don't even know about. You can also increase the number of categories that your book shows up in and lots more. And it just really works well in conjunction with Publisher Rocket because understanding keywords is really important. And this week he's offering that course as a bonus for free when you purchase Publisher Rocket. So I thought that was a really good deal. That's why I want to talk to you about it. Like I said, it's not absolutely necessary to use those tools, but I just really like Publisher Rocket. I've discovered so many niches that I wouldn't have discovered without it, to be honest. I only promote things that I use personally and that I find helpful. So if I didn't think this helped me in my business, I wouldn't be promoting it. And having this offer at the moment just made it a no brainer. And I thought I better tell you all about it. So at the end of the video, I will tell you more details. So let's hop onto the screen share now. And I'll just quickly give you a tutorial on how I use Publisher Rocket so that you can see the process for yourself. Once you're signed into Publisher Rocket, you get this screen. And as you can see, it's really simple and intuitive. I love tools that show you exactly where you need to go. So you have your keyword search, your competition analyzer, your category search, your Amazon ads keyword search and tutorials. And the other way to access all of these is up here in the top menu. 
Just in case you're doing something here on this screen and you want to access one of the other features, you can do it up here as well. And the very first thing that I want to show you is actually this one here, the tutorials, because I think this does explain everything in great detail. So if we click on this, it then takes you to this page here where you can watch videos that absolutely go into every detail. So this one is the introduction to Publisher Rocket. Hi, um, and welcome to part one, an introduction to Publisher Rocket. So this really helps you just to get to know the basic layout. And then it goes into details on how to find keywords with Publisher Rocket, how to analyze your competition, how to choose your categories, how to find keywords for Amazon ads. I find this one really interesting and um, how to add your book to more categories. I will talk about this in a minute because I want you to be very careful with this one. And uh, really, I don't need to explain anything because it all goes into detail really clearly on this page. So we're back on to Publisher Rocket and we're going to start with the keyword search. So we click on that and then it gives you the option of looking at books and ebooks. And this is very useful because Publisher Rocket is not just for low content books, it's for all books on Amazon. So if you're not producing low content books and you're actually writing books, then this is a really useful tool for you as well because it really helps you to research your niches before you start writing your book. So this is a really good tool for any author, not just low content book creators. So let's try this out and I'm going to type in one of the type of books that I would make for low content. So for example, I could make a guest book. Now guest books haven't been selling very well during the pandemic, but they're starting to pick up again. So it's a good idea to start looking at them again. And what Publisher Rocket does, it gives you all the information that you need to know on one page. This is why Publisher Rocket just saves you so much time because instead of having to go through Amazon, installing all these different Chrome extensions, you can just do it here. If you don't want to install any Chrome extensions, this tool, Publisher Rocket, will give you all the results on one page. So as you can see, you've got the keywords on your left hand side. It will give you the average pages, the average page number, the number of competitors, the average price, the average monthly earnings. I find this data really interesting because it lets me know whether it's actually worth using this keyword or not. And it gets you the estimated Amazon searches. If we hover over this, it says it tells you the estimated number of people who typed that phrase into Amazon per month. Now, as you know, I've told you before in a video that Amazon doesn't give that information to anybody. But Publisher Rocket has a really clever algorithm. I think they base it on Google's searches, but they modify that so that it comes pretty close to the figures for Amazon search results and not Google search results. So of course, this can't be 100% accurate, but it really gives you a good idea. To me, these three columns are the most important, the numbers of competitors, the average monthly earnings, and the estimated Amazon searches per month. Those are the three that are really important when it comes to determining whether this is a niche that you want to publish a book in. It also has a competitive score. This is similar to the um, self-publishing Titans extension that gives you a colored score to make it easy for you. So if you want any of this data, you then have to click on this button here. What I usually do is I have a look at some of them and I click on the ones that I I find interesting. So I already see quite a few that I would like to look into, but let's just see what this tool does in terms of bringing up all the data. The competitive score, if it's green, that means it's it's okay, it's a good score. You want this to be as low as possible. So anything closer to zero is ideal. And if it's red, closer to 100, that means that it's not a very good niche to publish in. And we can see why if you look at the figures here, Number of competitors is quite high on all of them. They're all over 1,200. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad niche, but if you look at all the other things that we consider, like for example, the estimated Amazon searches, you can see that there are quite a lot of searches, but there must be quite a few competitors and that's why it's a high score. So guest book Beach House seems to be a better keyword. It has a fair number of 
estimated searches per month that's not bad at all and it's got a high number of competitors but like i said it's might not be too bad it has got quite a good number of average monthly earnings so i would definitely look more into this one guest book for funerals the searches are a bit lower it's still not a bad niche so you can also look into this one and you go through all of them and look at those figures and like i said the number of competitors the average monthly earnings and the estimated searches are the numbers you really want to look at and you want to find a high number of searches lower number of competitors and of course we want the average monthly earnings to be as high as possible because that gives us an indication that these books are selling and then what you can do is you can pick one that you like the look of and when you click on this button here it takes you to the actual books so that you can explore a little bit better so these are the books that are ranking for that keyword you can see all the books here so you can look at the covers and that's always a good idea because you have to compete on covers you have to make a better cover for you to be able to compete with them so it's good to see them all here listed so that you don't have to go through amazon and they're all for that particular keyword so this is a really really good tool to do your research where you don't have to look through amazon and everything is presented to you on one page and you can even check out the books so if i have a look at this one for example you can see the number of monthly sales this one's doing quite well let's see if there's one that does better i think this is the one that's probably selling the most so let's check it out and it takes you to the amazon page for that book you can check it out there as well and just have a look at all the details and see if there's any reviews that you can learn from it's always good to check out the reviews because they usually tell you if people are happy with the book or if there's something that the book could be doing better and i always find that really helpful so i tend to look at the good reviews but i also look at the bad reviews they usually tell you more information than the good reviews so so fortunately there aren't too many bad reviews this one here should have bought a hardcover so this is the type of book that really is much better in hardcover than in paperback because people want to keep these type of books let's go back to publisher rocket so this is how i would do my keyword search and i find that it actually usually gives me a lot of ideas i always go through all of these keywords and i very often find things that i didn't even think of book ideas keyword ideas things that i would never have thought of or that i would never have found just looking on amazon so that's why i like publisher rocket for that function alone but there are other functions let's have a look at the competition analyzer and again we type in a keyword let's type in guest book again and it's presenting you with all the competition so it's always good to know who you are competing with it will give you a lot of information it actually pulls up 10 main competitors that are your competition for that keyword and it gives you things like the type of book so it, you can have a look at the categories it gives you the author name the age is really interesting the average bsr and this this metric here is really interesting it tells you if the book has the targeted keyword in the title or the subtitle but having a really strong keyword in your title is really going to help your book the price they're all listed here so you can compare how you will price your book and this number here is the daily estimated sales and these are the monthly estimated sales so of course the higher these numbers the more they are selling so all of this gives you some really good information when you're checking out your competition and you can even go into the book by clicking here check it out and then it takes you to the amazon sales page for that book so you can also unleash the categories if you click here i find this really interesting because sometimes you just don't know what categories to put your books in i believe there's about sixteen thousand categories on amazon and it's constantly changing and rising so where do you put your categories where do you put your books in just to show you quickly now for this keyword 
it's telling us that this is the Amazon bestseller rank for the number one book in that category. And this is the number of books you need to sell per day to rank number one for this category. So it gives you that information. You would have to sell 21 books to beat the book, the number one book in this category. So you can have a look at these figures to help you with your research. And I'll talk about categories in a minute. Let's go back to the competition analyzer and uh, like I said, I mean, this gives you all the details in one page and it's so easy to do your research by having the whole data in front of you. So let's go back to our home page and now we're getting to the category search. This is really handy because sometimes you think, where do I put my book in? When you publish your book, Amazon asks you to put your book in two categories and those are the BISAC categories. They are just a standard category that the book industry uses and Amazon needs some kind of guide as to where to put your book in what category. Amazon shows your books in the browse categories. Those browse categories are for the buyers. So the buyers don't see the categories that we choose for our books. They see the browse categories and Amazon determines the browse categories by using the two categories that we give them and also they use the keywords, I believe. So Amazon puts our books in the categories that they think are the best fit for our book. Sometimes that works out really well and sometimes it can be a little bit strange and your books can turn up in categories that are not really relevant for your books. But you can let Amazon know, you can email them and you can tell them if your book is in the wrong category. And also you can ask Amazon to put your book into eight more categories, into eight additional categories so that your total number can be 10 categories. I do have a video on how to place your books in different categories. So if you search on my channel, you'll find that. And this category search is actually really handy because all you need to do is click on what type of book you have. So if it's a book or an ebook and then type in your keyword. So, so you can search by book, ebook or both if you're just looking for a general category. And let's type in our guest book keyword and this happens, which is nothing happens. <laughs> so if this happens to you, that means that there isn't a browse path for this category and then you have to go slightly different. You could also search here under category search. So this is what I would do when my category doesn't come up when I type in the keywords. I then go on the drop down and I find something to do with travel, with holidays, with vacations, anything like that. So here we have the travel category. So I click on that and then you get more that you can choose. This is a roundabout way of finding your category, but it's still a lot easier than having a look on Amazon. So if I'm making a guest book for a beach house, I could scroll down here. I'll have a quick look. Speciality travel is a good one. This one here, books, travel, speciality travel, beach. When you're placing your books into different categories, make sure that your books are in a relevant category, not just because you want to get your book ranking on number one. Make sure that they are relevant for your book. So that's what I wanted to tell you about category search. And then we can go to the Amazon keyword search for Amazon ads. And that is this column here. Now, this is a feature that I think is really, really useful because I'm not an expert on Amazon ads. And I'm really not sure that I can tell you how to run ads, but this keyword search tool has really helped me make better ads. And that is because all you need to do, and this is what Publisher Rocket recommends, is you type in a really general keyword for your ads. So we're going to type in guest book here, and then we get all of these results that you can then export and put in your Amazon ads when you are running your ads targeting keywords. And you know that Amazon ads is one of those things where you have to let them run for a little while and then optimize your keywords and make changes to them. But if you've got a long list of keywords to start your ads with, you can then run your ads with a very low budget and then run it for a week or so and see where these keywords are taking you and what results you're getting for these keywords. I find that this is a much better method than just guessing keywords, which is what I was doing before I found this. So if you scroll down, you can see how many keywords this has come up with. You can also see that it targets some of the guest books that are already 
on Amazon, so this is targeting by product, it is absolutely fine to target your competition in Amazon ads. So this is how I use Publisher Rocket. I personally find it really easy to use. It's mainly a time saving tool. Whenever I have used Publisher Rockets on my books, I feel that they are good quality in terms of the keywords that I've used and in terms of having a good chance of ranking high in Amazon. And I do really like that about Publisher Rocket. I also like that everything is just in one place and uh, there's not really much I dislike about it. I actually think that for the money, it's a fantastic tool and you have lifetime access to it. So there's no subscription where you have to keep paying. It's a one-time payment and Publisher Rocket is yours and you can use it all the time. And what I really like about it also is that they keep making improvements to it. For example, at first you could only choose the American market, but now you can actually use Publisher Rocket in the UK and on the German market. And those are the three main markets, in my opinion, that you should place your books in. Keep an eye on the tutorials so that you can keep updated with what's going on on Publisher Rocket and so that you can use it really effectively. I really like it. I think as far as tools are concerned, this is probably my favorite because it's the easiest to use. I use other tools that are a little bit more complicated in my opinion. They look like they have more information sometimes, but it's actually not the case. I think that this is really concise. It's easy. It's perfect for people like me who don't want to spend too much time learning how to use a tool as well as learning everything there is to do on KDP. So for me, this was a really easy tool to learn and to apply. If you have time to do your research manually, then absolutely, that's probably still the best way. But this is a time saving tool. And this week there is a special offer. If you buy Publisher Rocket using the link that I leave below the video, you get Dave Chesham's keyword course for free. I took that course and I think it's really valuable when used in conjunction with Publisher Rocket. So it's a really good deal at the moment. And uh, I leave the link below this video. It is an affiliate link. So that means I get a small percentage from any sales. But I just wanted you to know that I only promote Promote things that I use myself and that I can wholeheartedly recommend. The other thing I really like about Publisher Rocket is their support. So if there is anything that you don't understand or anything that is not working properly for you, click support because they're really good at answering any questions. And that's one of the things that I really value about companies, how they treat their customers and how quickly they offer help. And I think Publisher Rocket's support is really valuable in that respect. And they also have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're not happy, if you try this and you think, well, no, this is not really helping me, you can get your money back if you tell them within the first 30 days. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope it helps you in your keyword research. Like I said, Publisher Rocket are offering a really special deal this week only. So today is Monday. This deal will run till Sunday and then it won't exist anymore. So for this week, when you buy Publisher Rocket using the link that I leave underneath this video, you can also get Dave Chesham's keyword course completely free as a bonus. And normally that keyword course retails at about $50, I think. So I think that makes the deal a little bit better. And like I said, Publisher Rocket is a really good tool that saves you a lot of time. And uh, it's a one-off payment. So once you buy the tool, there's no subscription. You have that tool for life and they keep updating it as well. There's recently been a really good update. So you're getting a very good tool for the money and I can safely recommend it because I use it myself. So I hope you found that helpful and let me know any questions you have. Join our Facebook group as well, the Home Boss group. I'm usually on there to answer as many questions as I can. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye bye.